Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Today we'll be looking at the Alpacore 37 quart 12 volt refrigerator slash freezer combo. All one unit, but it can go either way. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content. Let's get started. Hey YouTube. So I started doing a ton of camping last year and I was taking coolers out with me and one thing we had problems with was ice. So I, I, I invested in a power station which we're going to look at uh, in a later video where we got hooked to this but I also invested in a 12 volt uh, portable refrigerator slash freezer. It looks like a big cooler but it's got a compressor built into it and I paid about 290 bucks on YouTube for this. And so I tell you what, let's just uh, let's flip the camera around and let's get into it and look at all the features and functions. All right, here's a much better view of this particular pre. You got your display here. You can go into max or eco mode. You got your up down buttons and your power. Um, right now I'm sitting at 34 degrees. Um, I got an integrated handle. Very simple to use. It's, again, it's Alpicool. I bought it off of Amazon. It's got your compressor built in. And on the back, you can hook either a 120 volt supply or a 12 volt, which we'll do in just a little bit. So I'm currently, I've got this thing plugged in, just uh, cooling down as we go along. So on the top, it does have some drink holders built in. And if we open it up, it's got a nice LED light. It's got a chain to hold the lid up, a good seal around here. Got some area here that I'll, I'll commonly put some fruit in. And then I've got a big basket, which you can pull up and pull out. In addition, uh, it does have some indentions at the bottom. This is where you put two liters at. Um, you pull the basket out, you drop the two liter in there, and then at the top, it actually has some indentions as well, so that it'll come all the way down and sit on top of the two liter. But this is pretty good. This is great for weekend trips. This is not gonna last you you know, a week out on the road or anything, but it's pretty good. Um, and when I am out and about, I will go ahead and get it cooled down. I'll put all the food in it as well way before I leave. Get everything really cool. And then at that point in time, I either plug it into the car or I plug it into uh, a portable uh, power station um, to move along. Even though it's got a battery here, it doesn't have a built-in battery. You need, you need either either hooked uh, into a DC connection or hooked into uh, of your car, which mine has it, or you're hooked into uh, um, a portable power block. I'm gonna do another video in a bit. we hook to this to a watt. Uh, fun a uh, 500 watt uh, portable power station and we're going to see how, ma how many days it'll go on just refrigerator and then how many days it will go on freezer um, in two separate tests just to give it a you know give it a good test so you'll know when you go out in the field again uh, links up up in the top uh, for for this and then I'll, I'll put a link for for the Amazon on on there as well this does come in some different sizes it's not only 35 watt uh, 35 liter it's got 45 liter and then it goes all the way up to 55 liter as well and again i paid 289.99 at amazon with free shipping hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content thanks and have a great day